All right, my friends, we're about to get started with our arm workouts. Welcome back. Welcome to vlog number three. This is how we're going to start vlog number three. Uh, today's workout is going to be bicep. We're going to start with the bicep curl, the 90 degree on cable machine. This one that I have right here. Uh, we're going to be using these handles. One, this one's right here. Uh, the next up will be the barbell curl. We're going to do a barbell curl combined with hammer curls. Um, on the hammer curls, I'm going to do a drop set, which is basically going to start with the heavy reps, I mean heavy weights, and do low weight, and, I mean do low reps, and then drop down to a lower weight. Then after that is uh, our triceps. We're going to do a overhead EC bar tricep press or an overhead tricep extension. Once we do those, we're going to jump to a cable overhead extension. And then we're going to finish up that with the close grip uh, push-up. And we're going to be using the bar. Okay, so I'll be looking forward to that. And mm, you already know who's gonna be joining me for this workout. She's always here on the grind. Let's check her out. And say hi, Rhonda. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, let's get to work. I hope you guys enjoyed the little edit that we're gonna do for you. And um, I'll put on the sets and reps of how much we're gonna be doing on each set. So if you guys wanna try this arm workout, it's for you guys. Um, I'll even put it in Spanish. If you are also watching in Spanish, I might do a little subtitles also in Spanish for you, any Spanish speaker. In the future, I am thinking of also doing like pure Spanish, talking in Spanish, but right now I'm just focusing on the English videos. But for now, just enjoy this workout. After this, we're, well, you can see me cooking my food as well. So you can see what I'm eating, even on my cut. And, um, well, other than that, let's get to work. All right, guys, so here's a little cool workout that I'm gonna be, I gonna start using I'm gonna see if it actually increases my bicep peak and engages more of my top top of as the muscle fibers all right so let's check it out all right so this one I will call it the 90 degree angle cable machine bicep curl while sitting down. It's a long name. I don't really have a name for it yet, but I've seen it here and there on Instagram, but I haven't, I mean, um, I kind of want to give it my perspective, guys. So, one of the things to keep in mind is you don't have to keep your feet like all extended, okay? Feet can stay right there. Uh, one way to think about this is you're gonna drag the bicep or you're gonna drag something to your ears, okay? Okay, now you're gonna pop that chest out still, Hands are straight, they're perpendicular, they're in a 90 degree angle with your body, and then you pull to your ears, okay? Not to your eyes, behind your ears, okay? And you try to keep that steadiness while you're lifting and pushing through the pain. In this case, the rib, you don't wanna be pain. Okay? Um, it really engages the top muscle fibers that we have on our biceps. Remember, we have muscle fibers throughout the bicep. You flex, and each flexion creates a different uses of your muscle uh, fibers. Um, my set is four reps of 25, I mean the four sets of 25 reps. Uh, we're barely on our third rep, so this is gonna be the next 25 reps. I'm using it right now as a warm up. Not as a workout, but it also feels like a workout to be honest because I do feel like my biceps are about to explode, even belong to. But yes, try them out. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this little tip and use it on your next arm workout.
Okay, mis amigos, my friends, ya terminamos, we finished. Um, what you think, Lana? You like it? Yes. There you go. That's all I need. <laughs> all right, take it easy. All right, guys, we have officially finished our workout. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little video that me and Blanca did. Um, she's been a client. Well, I think you guys have seen her quite a few times, and she's been with me for five years. We're gonna have our anniversary coming up for training together. Um, right now, I am going to do a steak and some lentils. Uh, that's gonna be my food. Everything's already prepared, so I don't really need to show you anything, but that's gonna be my food for, you know, today. Uh, and guys, I just wanna thank all of you who are keeping up with my videos and watching them. Um, this dream of mine, I mean, it's something I've been trying to do for, since I was like 21 years old. Um, I let myself get distracted by things that Everyone gets distracted by relationships, life. Um, I, I'm not gonna say school because school provided me with a lot of the things that I use today. And well, I didn't know what to prioritize, which is why I don't want to stop doing this YouTube thing. I want to let everyone know, people who are younger than me or even at the same age, um, the tips and the things that I've learned so you guys can strive and become successful in all the things that you want to be successful in. It takes a lot of uh, dedication, a lot of discipline, to be honest. And it's not easy, but you got to stick with it. And sticking with it is probably one of the hardest things for a lot of people just because it takes a lot of mind, a heart, a lot of physical um, discipline. It's not a, something that just comes to you easily. So that's one of the things that I really want to thank to you all. Thank you for the support, the love, and everything that you guys... Um, do for me uh, if you guys share the video or you guys do all these wonderful things for me i really appreciate the content i'm trying to do it the best i can i'm learning as i go um i don't have all the tools that i wish that i could have so i can give you like the best videos but hey we got to start somewhere right we got to go through through the hardships before we start reaching the true potential that we all have so I hope you guys enjoy this journey of mine, and once we see the big picture come to life, I hope all of you guys are there too. Thank you so much for the support, the love, and I'll see you on the next video. Love you all. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the continuation of vlog number three. The last vlog you guys saw, I was just training Blanca. So I took a break the past two days. I would actually say three days. I didn't work out because my joints were just literally telling me, you need to rest, you need to rest. Uh, as you guys have seen in the past and whoever has been following, I do have a pinched nerve and it's the sciatica. So I did have to take a good rest. But um, my body's feeling really good. I'm feeling a lot of energy. I see a lot of increase in mass as well. I haven't weighed myself today, but I will be weighing myself tomorrow. This vlog is going up on Monday, by the way. Today is Saturday, but uh, they'll be going up on Monday. After my workout, I'm gonna be working on the blog and working on the, a lot of things that I have to work on. But today's a back day and working on, I'm gonna go ahead and, so as you guys go ahead and check out that workout for today. Uh, and if you guys even want to use this workout, this is working, um, you can say that like 75% of all of my capacity. I'm going to be doing starting with deadlifts, uh, even though, um, you know, I'm cutting down weight. I still, like I told you, I don't want to lose strength. I still want to keep my strength. I still want to keep everything that I have in my body as, um, mass the talking. I'm at 187 right now. Well, last time I checked tomorrow, we'll see what's my weight but I still want to keep that frame. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and let you see the workout in three, two, one. See you in a bit. What is up guys? So the workout you guys are going to see, it's a progression of my deadlifts and also a few back workouts that I did. In total, I did do five uh, workouts. I will post the um, workout on the uh, description below. That way you guys can go ahead and use it for any purpose or Go ahead and try it out for your next deadlift workout. But honestly, guys, I want to talk about how I was feeling in this workout. Um, to be honest, in this workout, I was really emotional. There was a lot of things going through my head. I was, I was trying, I was putting myself in the zone. I actually was really 
uh, feeling weak. Um, it, it's, it was kind of one of those workouts where I was like, I need to redefine myself. I need to find myself again. And I don't know if you guys have ever felt disappointed in yourselves, but that's pretty much how I felt that day. I felt disappointed. I felt like I had get, I had given in that that I had lost myself uh, for a bit, and I mean this is this is something this is something that happens to me um, not on a regular basis like before, but as many as you know, I've gone through depression, so battling depression and battling this ideas of unworthiness is is kind of a thing that I have to go through and push through those feelings a lot, but. One thing that I've learned is that we have to learn how to process disappointment. A lot of us sometimes when we feel disappointed, we just want to like just give up and not try anything. We feel like we're useless. But instead, I think it's more important to process. Why do I feel disappointed? Where did I go wrong? Why did I drop my guard? It's normal to happen, guys. I honestly, as as people who focus on trying better themselves and be a better version of ourselves. It's, it's one of those things that we need to learn how to do. Being disappointed in yourself is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a recognition that you know that you have done bad, that you have failed. It doesn't make you unworthy. It doesn't make you useless. It makes you human. As human beings, we're going to fail. We have imperfections. Our mind is not fully capable of understanding things at the first time. And one thing that beats me up a lot is me being a perfectionist. Most of the time, I just want everything to come out perfect. I want everything to be perfect. I want that everything that I do in my life, that I never fail. But that's impossible because then I am not going to learn all these valuable lessons that I have been learning. Like in this workout, I felt weak. I feel like I couldn't lift the weight. You know, 315 is an easy way for me. But I push through and I remind myself like, okay, so let me process what I did wrong or why did I end up in this weak state? Then I realized like, oh, past few days, I pretty much was not working out. I wasn't focused. I had let a lot of things in my uh, brain on, you know, get in me, get to me. And I drained myself in ways that I was not supposed to. I didn't get enough sleep, enough water. All those things. So guys, don't give up. And don't feel like a failure. Process your disappointment. Get up. And keep moving forward. Till next time guys. Love you all. Take care.